with two practical examples, we're gonna see how can we find where the sequence breaks, or in other words, where we have a missing data, such as the sales report right here that I have, where I have as the result missing data, I can find a issue because I have January 5th and January 7th, but I don't have here the day 6. So in this row is where the sequence breaks. And this is why the formula is retrieving missing data as result. So if you want to learn how to find where a sequence is interrupted using Excel to help you to automate this task, let's go. Let's start with the first example where I have something simpler to solve. We have two different sequences right here, but I want to start with the first one where I have as the first number 1000 and then 1001, 8002, 8004. So we already can see that the sequence breaks right here in between 1002 and 1004 because we are missing the 1003. This number is the value that is being missing. So here is where the sequence is interrupted. Uh, but how can I tell Excel to automate this task for me and return exactly the row where the sequence breaks? I can use a simple math that is equal sign and then one number underneath minus the current number. And then I can hit enter. So one is the result. This number one is the criteria that is making the sequence exist. Let's say, let's say the sequence grows because a sequence to be a sequence needs to have a criteria or certain criteria such as one because this sequence is growing down one by one. So this is the criteria. Let me bring this formula down. So as we can see, whenever we have a different result than one or the criteria that is making the sequence grow, it's because we have a interruption in this specific row. So as we can see, two is where we have the interruption or where we are missing the 1003. And also underneath here down below, we have negative 1007 because this is where the sequence ends or this is the last number that we have in the sequence. So here also we have a break in the sequence. But uh, instead of letting the, the results like this, I want to customize the numbers and I want to use a OK status and also a missing data for the numbers that are different than one. So let's do it again using the if function. Equal sign and then if function. Double click to select one, two. And as the logical test, I want to use again the same math that we did. That is the number underneath minus the current number. So if this operation is, let's say, greater than one, we know exactly where the sequence breaks. In that way, if the result is true or the difference is greater than one, comma, I want to input here open quotations and then missing data. Close quotations, comma, else, if everything is okay, I want to input code, okay, uncode, close parentheses, and then enter. So let me bring this formula down, click, hold, and drag. And now that we have the formula done, we can see where the result is telling us missing data. We know that in this specific row, we have a break in the sequence. So let's, instead of using the break right here, let's input maybe a thousand entry right here. And as we can see, if I press hit the enter, I'm going to have the break just right here because two, three, and then we're going to miss the, the number four. And then we're going to jump straight forward into the number five. So let me press enter. Okay, so we got a update in the result and the new one is, is pointing on where we have the break. So this is how we can do it. If we have a different sequence before we move on to a more concrete example, instead of using a abstract one, Let's use a different sequence. This time, the criteria of the growth of the sequence is 100. So equal sign, the next number minus the current one. Enter. OK, so the growth ratio is 100. This is the criteria. And again, we can read it off everything and do the same formula, but this time using the if function. Equal sign, if function, double click, one, two. The logical test is going to be the math that we did or the subtraction between the next number minus the current one. If this difference is greater than 100, it's because we have a break in the sequence. So comma, code, missing, data, close quotations, and then comma. But if everything is okay, I want to input code, okay, uncode, close parentheses, and then enter. 
Let me bring this formula down so that way we can see the automation working. Okay, now we can see that the breaking point is just right here. We are missing here the 500. This is how we can do it, guys. But now let's move on to a more concrete example that we can actually use on a daily basis. So let's say I have a sales report. I have information such as the date, the order ID, the product name, the quantity, the price, and the region. I want to check the date if I have something missing dates here. Because let's say I want to create a report using the sales spreadsheet, but I have some dates that are being missing. Of course, I'm going to have a problem. So it's better to check right now before I create this report to avoid issues. So let's go. Equal sign, the first thing that I need. And then I want to check if what is the difference between one date to another one. So the date underneath minus the current one. Enter. OK, we got zero as result because, of course, we have the same date in many different rows or we have repetitive values, but it doesn't matter because it's going to work. So let's say as we have repetitive values, we're going to have zero as result in a couple of different rows. But let's bring this formula down to see what's going to happen. OK, so we have zero being retrieved whenever the dates are the same. And we have one when the difference between one date to another is equal to one day. And whenever the difference between one day to another is greater than one is because I have a problem here because I have some missing data. So let's bring this formula into the ending of the spreadsheet and see what's going to happen with the result. OK, so we have a couple of zeros and number ones. But I think right here I'm seeing a number two. Why is that? Let's take a look here. So number two is just in this specific row because on the day 19, it's go straight forward to the day 21st. OK, so we are missing here the day 20. This is why we got number two as result. Whenever we have a result that is greater than zero or greater than one, it's because we have a problem such as this row right here. And I'm pretty much sure that we have more number twos in this list right here. So let's take a look. Another one. So number two, because I have day five and day seven, we are missing the day six. Well, let's automate those, these results using the if function. First of all, I want to input here a status as the header. And then let me read it off the first formula. Equal sign if function, double click, one, two, to select. Now I want you to see as the first argument, the logical test, the difference between the next date to the current one. So the date underneath minus the current date. If the result is greater than one, if it's equal to zero or equal to one, it's because it's okay. However, if it's greater than one, two, three, four, five, a hundred, it's because we have a problem. So this is what I mean inputting here as the logical test. And if it's true, comma, code missing data, uncode, comma, else, if everything is okay, I can input code, okay, uncode, close parentheses, and then enter. Now let's double click at the bottom right corner of the cell, one, two, to make sure we can bring this function down. And we're done. Now, whenever we have a missing data as result, it's because we have a issue. We have a missing day. So this is how we can find everything that is being missing. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how can we use sequences in Excel coupled with the if function. And do not forget, if you want to apply filters within this status column, you can do so. It's much easier to check for all the missing data that you have. So let me click within this list anywhere and then Control shift l the shortcut key to enable the filters but you can also go to data and here to the right you can click on filter it's gonna work in the same way you can activate the filters so let me click in the filters and i want to see everything but the okay let me click okay and yeah that's it so those are the two rows where i'm missing the data that i need if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.